Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today. And I want to talk about a few things that have happened around um, clients, not all of them, of course, a few clients that I've been working with for, a, a, well, nearly a year, some of them, um, some of them over a year. And they've come to the conclusion that they had been dealing with a catalyst person, whether that was a soulmate or um, a karmic person or a false twin. These labels, I know, get confusing and I just find redundant. But just for the sake of being able to grasp what it is I'm trying to say here, I'll just label them under catalyst people because that's what they are. They are a catalyst to wake you up, to bring you in alignment with who you are. Because it gets really discouraging when people, of course you want to be in a romantic relationship with the love of your life and you want, you know, you're happily ever after and all of that. But it is mainly about you and aligning with you, the true essence of who you are. Not everyone who wakes up to their spiritual selves will resonate with a twin flame path and a twin flame journey. Because they're here on this earth to enjoy with soulmates and have their spiritual awakening pretty much for them. So there's no none of this um, when are we going to come into union kind of pressure, right? For those who do align with a twin flame path, it's more difficult because you think, well, I thought I'd found the one, but it clearly seems that the universe has given me signs that they're not that they're giving me signs that they're not. And trust me, I, I totally relate because I've been through it myself. When I first found out about Twin Flames, this was back in 2002. There was no YouTube, there was no internet. Well, there was internet, but there was very limited resources on the internet. Um, There were no dedicated websites. Found this in a book somewhere, I remember going through, I remember I was at the library and then other places where I could get books and randomly came across the term Twin Flames that really resonated and made sense to me. And even though I knew the person back then was just a soulmate, the fact that he gave me the opportunity to wake up to who I was, was enough. I didn't need a relationship with him. I couldn't have one anyway. But I didn't need it. And even to this day, I hold a very special place in my heart for this person. Because he's given me so much. Yes, he may not have given me the relationship that I thought I wanted at the time with him. But what he's given me is priceless. To wake up to who you are and know that there's so much more to life. To know that you're not restricted by old ways of thinking, you know, fearful based fear-based thoughts like the ones that my family had taught me over the years, I didn't have to stick to any of that. And this person's given me the most beautiful gift in letting me realize my true power and who I was. And, you know, I'll never be in a relationship with this person and that's absolutely fine. I don't need to be because he has served his purpose. He was my soulmate. He was the one who got me to look into past lives too because he said to me, we must have known each other before, maybe in a past life. It's just sad that it's not meant to be in this one. And no other guy has ever said that to me. And I was like, wow, okay, this is interesting. Um, our meeting as well could have very well been mistaken for a twin flame connection because when I saw him, the second I looked at his face and looked into his eyes, I felt I knew this person. Of course, I'd never met him before. I, you know, this was a business connection back then um, when I was working on a project. And of course, this was the first ever time that we'd met. But I felt the sense of familiarity and I couldn't stop thinking about him. He couldn't stop thinking about me. And we had this telepathic sense of knowing about each other. So that was a very, very intense soulmate connection. And 
I know that a lot of people who now have discovered, oh, I'm never going to be with this person, have gone through the same thing. And yes, it's disappointing that you have to go through something like that, but also liberating at the same time. Because back then, the twin flame path and the twin flame term resonated with me. Even though I knew this person wasn't it, I thought, you know what? One of these days I will have the true thing because I feel it in my heart. There's this unwavering knowing. And I said this to one of my clients, I, you know, I'm not allowed to tell you certain things because I'm not meant to learn your lessons for you and I can't give you a cheat sheet because she really wanted to know if this person was her true twin flame or not. But I did say, regardless of what this person is, you are a twin flame and you can feel that. You are on the twin flame path and you're not coming off it. <laughs> you have so much to offer this world and you will. And twin flame or not, you know, this person has given certain things like my soulmate had given me. And you're not coming off this path because you're not meant to. And I've also had a ton of karmic people in between, you know. My longest relationship was a karmic person taught me a lot of stuff that I didn't want so I could fine-tune what it is that I do want in a relationship. And now that we're just friends, I can totally understand why we didn't work out and why we should never, ever, ever have another go of it. But we work out okay as friends. You know, just because it didn't work out romantically doesn't mean that you can't have a good laugh together or still remember the time in a fond way, just not romantically, you still have the same interests and you still have, you know, you can still tell each other stories and have, just have a laugh really. But without the pressure of, oh God, it didn't work out and why did we ever try to have a relationship? There's none of that now. There's no regrets. I... That's the thing. There's no regrets. Yes, it was karmic. And yes, back then it was really heavy for me. And I was really, really upset that I'd wasted. Well, to me, I thought I'd wasted a lot of years. But now it's like, no, it wasn't wasted because it brought me more lessons. And it taught me more of who I was. And really, if I'm really honest with myself, I wouldn't have been ready for complete union with my true love anyway back then because I... I still had to learn a lot about myself and about how to be completely independent and not codependent because that sadly for both of us was a codependent relationship even though he wouldn't admit it. He needed me more than I needed him actually and, and it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Um, the only difference is now that I've truly taken this time out to learn independence and harmony within myself so I can give a balanced unconditional love to my true love once in a proper relationship he's just gone into another codependent situation which that's his burden and lesson to learn I guess but unless you take the time out to really rediscover yourself to be truly independent and not be afraid of anything then you know you're not going to be fully able to receive a harmonized balanced union within yourself and with the person that is meant for you. So the false twin thing had also taught me a lot. And the beginning stages were amazing. You would think, wow, this must be a true connection, but it wasn't. The moment things got tough, this person just disappeared, never to explain himself, never to give any sort of closure on the situation. It's sad, but you know, again, I've learned so much and in a way I'm glad that that happened because it made me look even deeper within. How can I be better for myself? Therefore, how can I be better for my actual true love connection? So by the time I did meet my true twin flame, I had worked on so many aspects of myself that things that may have triggered me in the past just didn't trigger me at all. He didn't get the reactions that he was expecting to when he had doubts about us and decided to 
shelve the idea for now and, and go and, and discover who he was. That's what he needed to do, but I never freaked out. I never begged him to stay or any of that, and of course that really confused him. But those lessons were taught by me by all these other people, you see, and had I not had these connections, I would have not been the balanced person that could cope with a lot of stuff that my twin flame threw my way. And everything happens to shape you and mould you and teach you to be more and more of who you really are. I know deep down I am this calm person that doesn't freak out and get angry and get easily triggered and start screaming and crying. This is not me. And that wasn't me. And I'm so proud of that. And I don't, un well, I kind of understand people to a certain degree where they say, but I need somebody. I don't want to be alone. And I, I'm scared of loneliness and being alone at night and things like that. But yes, I guess that was me maybe a decade ago. Mm, slightly more than a decade, I would say maybe 15 years ago. But me now, no. I love my own company. I love having the time to work on my business and develop everything about me. My goal is to have the best, most beautiful, rounded, full life that I'll be happy to share with somebody if they want to join me but it will never be about somebody ever again. It's all about what I can offer to myself. And if someone wants to share that with me, awesome. But there is no sense of codependence and needing anyone's approval. In fact, if someone doesn't like me and appreciate me for who I am, that's their loss. But that's not going to bother me. That's not going to keep me up at night. That's not going to even interfere in my thinking for one second it's not worth it I know who I am and I know that I am deserving of the most beautiful things and so should you and I hope that this message helps you if you've been one of these people who've thought ah oh, I've I've encountered a false connection this person wasn't my true love don't worry if the twin flame path resonates with you you are a twin flame you just haven't found them yet. But that's okay. I was like that. I resonated with the path 14 years before I met the person in, in the physical. But all along, ever since childhood even, I could feel their energy. I just didn't know who they physically were, but they were always with me. And if that resonates with you, then that's the case for you too. If you'd like to connect with me for a reading or a channeled love message or just any channeled message from, you know, your spiritual guidance team or your higher self or whoever, then please contact me. My details are in the description. I'm still doing three for two healings for the new moon up until the 3rd of June. So if you would like to take advantage of that and have your healing session during the new moon, then please um, do... It's actually a YouTube only offer, so it'll be linked down below, but you won't find it on my website. So please bear that in mind. I thank you all so very much for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.